This is my reading notes for the Slight Edge. The Slight Edge 6. 19 times out of 20, there is no single significant answer. It is the little things day by day that add up over time to unshakable contentment or unsalvageable misery. Successful people don't look for shortcuts, nor do they hope for a big break. Create the habits of success. Habit one, show up. Habit two, be consistent. Habit three, have a positive outlook. Habit four, be committed to the long haul. Farmers know that they have to wait a full season to reap their harvest. Habit five, cultivate a burning desire backed by faith. Most people wish for big things, but they can't really see themselves getting it. The few who achieve great things are those who not only passionately wanted to achieve them, but also clearly see themselves achieving them. Habit six, be willing to pay the price. Remember this, whatever price you pay, there's a bigger price to pay for not doing it than the price for doing it. Habit number seven, practice the slight edge integrity. As we established before, if you want to keep yourself on the upward path, the path of building, growing, improving, positively compounding effect of the slight edge rather than the deteriorating, disintegrating, draining, negatively compounding effect of the slight edge, then there's something you need. Consistently repeated daily actions plus time equals unconquerable results. Time is your leverage, your pulley, your force multiplier. It's also your most valuable asset but it needs something to multiply. If you don't have a big stack of money for it to multiply, you're limited to your two most valuable assets, your skills and your effort. And the beautiful part of those two assets is that you can increase them at will. The internet is bountiful of new information and skills that you can get anytime. And your efforts is a throttle you control. Do you spend your nights fulfilling the slight edge dreams of movie stars and TV producers by consuming their content and watching their ads? Or do you start taking steps towards a better life? With the slight edge, the formula is simple. Determine the direction of the life you want. Take a step towards it. Make a commitment. Take another step and another step until it's the habit of walking. One, you make the commitment of your future. Important enough that the goals you will commit to, the continual and incremental increase in effort, will gain momentum through the inevitable effect of compounding to propel you to a better life. The compound effect of incrementally increasing efforts is inevitable. Remember this, whatever price you pay, there's a bigger price to pay for not doing it than the price of doing it.